welcome to Storytime. My name's Cheryl and I'm from Camden Libraries. Now if you've been watching some of our stories, you might remember that whenever there's a story with a doggy in it, we like to have our special friend, Senor Wolf Wolf, come and join us because he loves stories with dogs in it. Isn't that right, Senor Wolf Wolf? But he's had a bit of a name change. He's joined the army and now he's called Sergeant Sausage. Should we salute Sergeant Sausage? Nice to meet you, Sergeant Sausage. Now our story today is about dogs, but it's also about racehorses. So I hope you're not too disappointed that it's not just all about dogs. But in this story, there's a racehorse who thinks he's a doggy. <laughs> it's really funny, isn't it? <laughs> I agree. Let's read more about the story. It's called Parmesan, the Reluctant Racehorse. And it's written by Jackie Halpin and it's illustrated by John Phillips and it's with permission from Little Pink Dog Books. Let's find out about this racehorse. Parmesan was a horse, but from the moment he was born, he thought he was a dog. He stretched like a dog. Can you stretch like a dog? I don't think there's any creature that stretches with much enjoyment as the doggy does. He begged like a dog. He even fetched like a dog. If you look really closely, you'll see the Parmesan the race course has a ball in its mouth. Have you ever heard of horses chasing balls? I don't think I have. It's quite unique. But Parmesan was definitely not a dog. His mother and father were champion race horses. Parmesan refused to train with the other horses. He thought he was a dog. Did you hear that? He thought he was a dog. He scratched like a dog. A bit, bit of a scratch. Ah, uh, scratch, 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 scratch. He dug like a dog. He even fetched like a dog. I wonder who's throwing the ball for them. Parmesan's owner came to watch him train, expecting to see a champion. He was not happy. He had paid a lot of money for Parmesan to win races. But Parmesan would not race. He thought he was a dog. If you look carefully there, he's even eating the doggy food. He licked like a dog. <laughs> he sniffed like a dog. <laughs> he even fetched <laughs> like a dog. He certainly does love playing fetch. <gasps> I think it must be this person here who's throwing the ball to him. I wonder who he is. If he's not ready to run in the spring carnival next week, I'm getting rid of him. This horse is useless, cried the horse's owner. Joe, the trainer, was worried. <gasps> so that must be Joe, the trainer. He's trying to teach Parmesan how to be a racehorse. Parmesan was never going to be ready for the spring carnival. He thought he was a dog. He played like a dog. Oh, what game are they all playing? <laughs> Can you see who they're playing? Tearing somebody's jeans. He slept like a dog. He even fetched like a dog. Joe tried everything, but no matter what he did, Parmesan would not run like a racehorse. Can you see what he's trying to do there? He's trying to tempt Parmesan by holding a carrot up in front of him. I wonder what we would hold up in front of you to make you race and run. Do you think maybe it might be a, a biscuit or maybe a cupcake? 
what's your favourite thing to eat? What would you think would tempt you? I think I might be tempted to do it for, I don't know, maybe some chocolate or some ice cream. Joe was sad on the way to the spring carnival. He knew that after today, he would not be playing fetch with Parmesan anymore. Then he had a brilliant idea, which made him smile. Oh, I wonder what the brilliant idea is. Do you have any idea, Pums? Yes. Sergeant? Oh. Sergeant Sausage said to me, maybe he just needs to find out what would motivate Palmer's and the racehorse to run. I wonder what that may be. Shall we turn the page and find out? Palmer's was not happy though. He did not like the races. I don't think he liked going into his special horse box or coming out of it. He did not like the jockey. He did not like the starting gate. But when the gates open, Parmesan saw something he did like. Can you see the something? It's his favorite thing in the world, hanging on the end of that rope. <laughs> You're right, it's his ball. Wasn't that smart of the trainer? For the first time in his life, Parmesan felt like a racehorse. He ran like a horse. He won like a horse. He even fetched like a fetch like? <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> Put the jockey standing up on the back of Parmesan. <laughs> I don't think he was expecting Parmesan to still be chasing that, that ball. And that's the end of our story. Fancy that Parmesan won the race and he didn't have to stop thinking like a puppy dog. Did you like that story? Did you like that story Sergeant Sausage? I think I like that story. Maybe you might like to grab one of your favourite toys at home and maybe you might like to read them a story. I'm sure they would love to hear a story. Have a good rest of the day. See you next time. Bye for now.